Hello everyone, my name is Valentin and I'm a member of DM Trade in Bulgaria. Last week I showed you a trade uh, considering the metal palladium. It was with two approaches, short one, short term and long term one. The short term performed really well. Really well. It uh, managed to reach the target on Friday, so we closed the trade and profit. The, the daily approach is uh, still developing, but uh, up to now it's uh, performing really well as well. Um, this uh, week I'm going to show you a uh, trade considering the agricultural security wheat. As we can see from the graph, since uh, September um, the price is uh, leveled. It's uh, uh, trading in a really tight range. There was a, a little bit of sell-off uh, in the end of the summer. However, now since uh, the beginning of the year, the, um, the trend is uh, starting to, to turn and uh, since the end of uh, January as you can see the price is uh, rising significantly now as you can see from the graph from the rectangle that I drawn the price is in a small consolidation which uh, in uh, my opinion is a um, sign that uh, it's uh, preparing for a breakout if we switch to uh, one hour chart time frame, uh, we can also observe that in the last uh, couple of days the trend is supporting, the price is rising, and uh, every low is uh, significantly higher than the previous one. Uh, it's the same with, uh, with the tops. Here, as you can see, the top is significantly higher than the previous one. Now, as you can see, in the last uh, couple of days there is a little bit of down sloping movement which is uh, forming some sort of a triangle. This, uh, is my opinion, is, uh, will be the end of the consolidation and the price will break. The movement will be on the upside. If we switch again on the daily chart, I suspect that uh, if uh, the price uh, break this consolidation here, we might um, expect movement to the price of uh, 480, which if we scroll back, it's uh, some sort of uh, level of resistance before. It was break a couple of times, but uh, soon after that, uh, the price fall back again. So I prefer to uh, put our, uh, to put my target there for for the stop. Um, that uh, really depends from the risk that you want to take, and there are plenty of uh, places to, to put the stop. You can put it uh, here or even maybe lower, it depends from the risk that you want to take. I always uh, prefer to put uh, to give a room for the stop in order to protect myself for unnecessary spikes, which can uh, hit my stops and take me out of, out of the trade. Again, in uh, my opinion, this area here is uh, neutral, so we don't have to put our stop here or to um, enter here. I have uh, prefer to wait for some sort of a um, price formation around here and then to uh, to take a decision if uh, the price is going to continue in the upper trend or I might even uh, sell it. Again, I've uh, checked the news and uh, there is nothing that uh, will influence the price one way or another in the upcoming several days. So as soon as the buying pressure appears, the movement uh, should be calm and steady and should uh, reach the target considerably. Uh, quick and easy. Uh, that was all for the trade. Uh, in my opinion, should be a really nice and a quick one for profit. Don't forget to follow us in our Facebook and Twitter page. And uh, because there we're going to post live signals about uh, life, if how to execute the trade and to take uh, quick actions if it's uh, needed. Also in uh, Twitter. Uh, from today we are starting our new campaign, it's called Hint and Tips, where you can find a lot of uh, useful information and uh, really nice ways to improve your trading. That was all from me, thank you for watching and see you next time.